You see how well I'm treating your dog right now? Um... What's up, guys, and welcome back to the life of Kevin. And for today's episode, we're going to be continuing with Tommy's Vet Clinic, aka The Pospital. And if you guys missed last episode, I highly recommend it. So far, the whole vet clinic, vet career thing has been a lot of fun. And in between episodes, I actually made some changes to the place. Because we were having some issues last time. I hired two more vets, which means we now have three, but we only had two examining rooms. So I added a third one onto the back so that everybody can work. And we also had the issue of a lot of barfy dogs coming in and leaking all over the place. So I went ahead and bought this $20,000 gold-plated robot vacuum. In retrospect, might have been a bit of an impulse buy, but you know what? This place is going to start turning a profit at some point. Just you wait. We have bears running by. Ooh, and Tommy's leveling up. That's good. We have ghost pigeons, but no barfy dogs for the time being, which is good. But that being said, you cost more than the rest of the clinic combined. So you should probably be working at all times. Right. I also named him Sir Barf Mop the Third, and you will respect him as such. So start your cleaning routine. Oh, uh, Tom, I think you need to come program him. Tom, stop being flirty with the robot. Hey, I know you've done a lot of stuff to a lot of things. What robot? Has he done a robot before? I... I honestly don't know. We draw the line at vacuum cleaner, alright? We're not going after that good suck. It's using highly advanced, arguably alien technology to seek and destroy dog barf. This is starting to feel like a gross mismanagement of both wealth and technology. Well, I can't imagine Barf Mop is going to find anything because there is no dirt in this place yet, but I think we're probably... Oh, actually, I can get fish, right? Fully stock with fish. Yeah, there we go. Now remember to feed it, okay? Feed the fish. Don't feed Sir Barfbot. I'm sure the dogs will do a perfectly good job at that. Is there anything else that I need to do before we open right? I was asking about this last episode. You guys told me in the comments that this isn't a vending machine for people. It's more so a vending machine for animals. So Tommy has been making some dog treats like swamp water taffy. And yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Cooler than liquid nitrogen nutrition bar. Believe it or not, these are for animals. The Stinkinator, sure, yep, that can go in there. And then I think we have, uh, oh yeah, we got one more. We have uh, Scorching Cinnamon Chew. Tom's got a lot of random stuff. Why do you have 99 plus trash fruit? Where did you get all this trash fruit? That's a, that's a large harvest of trash fruit. <laughs> and he still has his grade school homework years later. But uh, we have catnip-based calming agent. We have belly rub simulation gel. Wouldn't mind having some of that. Industrial strength relaxation serum. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff that we can use during examination, during surgery. I don't know. I can't set prices on this thing or anything like that. Uh, let's fill that up. Just in case uh, somebody shows up and has to wait and they're hungry or anything like that. And then we can buy some toys. I don't know if this already has toys. Buy one of everything. Screw it. What's $120 when you have a gold-plated vacuum driving around? So I think we're probably good to open. We should have just about everything. Hopefully the girls are well rested now. Worked them for like 15 hours last time. They weren't too happy about that, but... Uh, We'll find out. Okay, the vet clinic is open for business. Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna bother changing clothes this time. I feel good uh, being kind of semi-formal. Aren't you a, aren't you a vampire? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that is kind of concerning because Kevin went on this whole two episode tirade trying to rid the neighborhood of vampires and now they're jogging around in the middle of the day with the ghost pigeons. Are you in cahoots with the ghost pigeons? Maybe Kevin should have a word with them. Hey, hey. Calm yourself down. Barfbot also doubles as a bouncer. If you're gonna get sassy with my vets, then you can head on out of here, Fluffball. Are you okay? We cool? Okay, we might be cool. 
It also doesn't seem particularly barfy. Uh, we also have uh, some kind of... Whoa, 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 okay. Listen, man. That's strike two. Third strike and you're out of here. I guess I'll be the one to greet them. Maybe he just doesn't like women. What's with the... Okay, well, we got a vomity cat then. Why does everybody hate my vets? <laughs> just a standard checkup for Cole today, please, doctor. Okay, that's why he doesn't look sick. Very good. Hopefully the cat doesn't... Oh, come on. What did I just say? Wait, no, Bella, you don't need to clean that up. I have a very expensive robot to do that. It doesn't do it automatically, are you kidding me? Oh God, what's the point, Tommy? We've we've wasted so much money. Okay, this guy just wants a checkup. That should be easy enough. Move him to the surgery station. I really want to do some kind of surgery today, but it's not gonna be on you. Instead, I'm just gonna shoot you with that. Oh, we're already at four star. Why is this guy so sad? Okay, also, you guys were telling me that uh, if I call him a good boy, right? Who's a good boy? Who was sassy with my vets? No? Just gonna give me a four star? Didn't even turn him inside out. I really wanted to. So, Celeste, what do you think is wrong with this cat other than terrible fashion choice? He does seem to be a little bit barfy. Odd breathing. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, yeah, that, that's a good place to check for both barfiness and breathiness. I don't know why I'm overseeing this. I'm sure she's perfectly well-trained. Oh, come on. Why does everything throw up in my clinic? Can I maybe just turn you on now? Right, nobody else is gonna clean this up. It's just me. And I'm not doing it manually. Like, what's the point? If I have to either do it manually or go over and turn on my robots. Uh, sir, you're looking for the hospital down the road. I am a hospital, and I'm kind of concerned why you brought your pet fish in. Oh, that's in my tank. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had his Squidward claw, and he wanted that to get examined, and he brought his pet fish that was just flopping around on the ground. <laughs> hey, 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 don't make me call the bouncer. My dog, Fei-Fei, has been doing well, but it's time for a checkup. I'm really happy that people are showing up and paying me copious sums of money to give their dogs a checkup. Do you know how easy it is to look at a healthy dog and say nothing? The robot could do this. Little does Squid Boy here know that the preventative shot is really just a pinch on the back of the dog to get a little reaction. We're not actually preventing anything. We want you to come back and be a repeat customer. <laughs> Have you seen the price of my vacuum? Hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned for your dog because ice keeps falling off of him. That's new. I'm not sure what's going on with Cupcake, but it's not good. Do you think you could help? Uh, maybe? I don't really have like a doggy flamethrower, but I'll give it a try. Maybe this is something that requires surgery, right? I, I, I don't really know, I'm not a vet. I think a reasonable place to start would be checking his temperature, considering there's giant chunks of ice forming and falling off of him. There we go. Anything? Mm, icy fur, okay. So if there's something weird with the fur, how about we inspect the fur? Mm-hmm, yep, the, there's a whole lot of ice there, and it's uh, the middle of the summer by the looks of it. It's kind of always summer around here. Low temperature and overly moist skin. Interesting, he's so sad. <laughs> Let's listen to your heartbeat. Maybe you have a really slow heartbeat. Would it be indication that uh, you're freezing to death? That's not really a medical condition. I don't really think. Anything? Uh, we got nothing. Okay, listen lady, I'm working on it, okay. Probably your fault that he got the way that he is. Don't suppose you have some kind of cryogenic thing in your mouth. Uh, he has watery eyes and frosty fur flu. Is that easily treated? Essence of placebo. Okay, so it's not actually treated by surgery. I don't know when I'm gonna get to do surgery. I really just need to give you a placebo, and that's gonna warm you up. Aw, oh, that's lame. <laughs> it was a completely different color! Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, so no, 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 don't, don't. Ah, oh, God, he automatically bills them right away, and I don't want to do that. I want to pet and, and call him a good boy and do all that kind of stuff, because then we bump up the stars, right? We got up to four stars anyway. Are you pleased that he's not dying anymore? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume that she's happy. Now get out. Hey, Barfbot, maybe do your job? No? Off he goes. <laughs> Alien technology at its finest. Oh yeah, by the way, I uh, also decided to add a closet in because, you know, there aren't always three patients waiting. And uh, I mean, we, we definitely hired Celeste and Bella for advantages. I feel like I should probably point out that they have had an ongoing relationship before their work relationship, so there's no kind of power dynamic or any of that shenanigans. They're they're in the woohoo club, okay? So it's perfectly consensual. Let's be honest, Celeste is probably the instigator here. Please, please, where where are you going? It's it's over here. It's right here. It's right here underneath the mushroom dog. What is it doing? Oh my God, Tommy, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to steam clean the closets. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that'll certainly raise team morale. <laughs> In the vet clothes as well. All right, now back to treating the sick. I can't believe, I can't believe that stupid robot. You are a very stressed out pupper, so how about we give you some industrial strength relaxation serum? I mean, I know I could probably calm you down, but why bother when I could just shoot you full of drugs? Hey. <laughs> Aren't you happy now? Yeah, he's happy now. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at all that fur. I'm a little concerned that your head isn't supposed to look like that. Is it? See, when it comes to The Sims, I'm never 100% sure. Is this just like a really inflated dog? Or is it supposed to look like this? Because they come in with afros all the freaking time. I think I've frozen him. Oh, no, there he goes. Okay, well, he's rainbow poop. He's got rapid heartbeat. Oh my God, does he just have the rainbow poops and he's supposed to look like this? Oh my God, he's got prismatic poop leg and he's actually supposed to look like this. You poor animal. I mean, I can't fix bad looks. I can give you a biscuit, and then I guess we're pretty well done here. Actually, you know what? No, no. As soon as we treat him, we're not, not going to bill the owner. Do not bill the owner. We want to call them a good boy, right? In front of the owner, we're going to say that they're a very handsome dog. Great haircut. Looks good. You see how well I'm treating your dog right now? Um. Um. What? What? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, never call them a good boy when they're not a good boy. I, I, okay. You listen, I think there's a church down the street. I can't really do exorcisms. Oh my god, I'm actually crying. That was fantastic. Look at Celeste actually doing a good job spraying down dogs and everything like that. I think we should promote her. You know what? Y you've been doing great, and I want to positively reinforce my employees. We're going straight to the sun. My dad told me to say that to people. They always like it. Oh my god, this is amazing. I knew you were a great boss no matter what everyone else said. Excuse you? Was it the whole turning into a dog-shaped abomination or having the dog turned into a human-shaped abomination that made people think I was a bad boss? I guess we'll never know. You know what? I think that's going to be enough for today. We got up to three stars. We did uh, make quite a bit of money, broke the game. Overall, I think it was pretty productive. Um, Bella? I think the owner left but forgot their little glow-in-the-dark cat. You didn't end up treating it. That's not good. Oh, and now you've left. I'm not keeping this cat. I'll feed it to the vacuum before I keep it. Oh, I guess it's just gonna go home. Okay, thank you, come again. We'll be open tomorrow.
I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed by Tommy. I didn't think he had what it takes to be a vet. What? Stuff doesn't explode anymore. And he's been here all night working away. I think he's level six or seven of the vet skill now. He's still tasting uh -huh. things, which is a problem, but that'll come in the final. You know what, screw it. Okay, we're just gonna open up again. And I'm gonna try to have a surgery, whether they want it or not. I really have no idea if it's supposed to be something that is a way of treating an illness, or if I could just choose surgery for the lols. We're gonna find out. Oh, this can't be good. This little dizzy, barfy pug came in off the street and gorged itself on food. Why do I get the feeling that's gonna be in my vacuum in about five minutes? <laughs> can I even introduce myself to you? Okay, I can. You are a patient. Let's see if I can surgically remove all of that kibble. I just want any excuse. Rosie just hasn't been acting like herself. I think something may be wrong. Can you please take a look? Uh, I'd be so happy so to. Cool, not a drim. What, are you, what are you? Oh, you're yelling at your cat. I was gonna say, you best damn hope you're not yelling at Celeste. Listen, man, I don't care how thick your arms are or how rolled up your pants are. If you says one of my vets, I'm gonna give you a preventative shot. Now, how is this pug doing? Seems to still be barfy, uncontrollable, drooling, sluggish heartbeat, ear infection. Oh, that's kind of different. Uh, let's listen to its heart. Yep, seems to be there. Okay. Squirrel scratch fever. Oh, that's different. Move to the surgery station. Squirrel scratch, whatever it was. Squirrel scratch fever. Yes, I know it very well. It's uh, an awful disease. It actually turns your dog into a squirrel. So we're going to have to remove the squirrel from him. If you would just hop on the conveyor belt. And <laughs> I'll just put you in here. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, he likes this. Four star, big expensive equipment being used. All right, um, we can spay them. Surgeries, if belly rub simulation gel, surgery. Oh yeah, we can extract its excess cuteness. Yeah, squirrels are cute. Okay, let's just get that out. Oh my God. Okay, Tommy, do you see the squirrel? Where is it? Oh, oh, okay. Um, um, no, no. We made it a plaid dog. We, we didn't want to do that. Careful, careful. <laughs> Stay on target. <laughs> Why is this so intense? We're good. We did it. Oh my God. You are adorable. You have a little cone. Okay. You, you better now though, right? How does it feel to have birthed a squirrel and almost become pajamas? Rosie, please, you're breaking my heart. It's the saddest dog ever. She really liked that squirrel. Oh, man. Well, you know what? She's she's gonna live a long, happy, squirrel-less life now. That's, that's what matters most. Ma'am, your dumpster cat is yelling in front of my clinic. It's gonna drive away customers. <laughs> Sales have been good today. Something is wrong with my little girl, Doodle. <gasps> Won't you please help her? Sure, you know what? Doodle's gonna be the last patient of the episode. And yeah, look at that. All of the treats sold. It's pretty good. All right, well, come along, Doodle. Y you're gonna need surgery, I can already tell. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why are you using a dog toy to test a cat's hearing? Why are you going to surgically remove dirt from a cat when you could just give it a bath? And the answer is because I feel like it. Don't question the vet. Are you a vet? No? I didn't think so. Interesting. So this cat seems to have stinky fur, fleas, mouth moths, and uncontrollable drooling, which all means repugnitis. Interesting. Okay, moving to the surgery station. It's also kind of weird that this patient looks a lot like Tommy. Do you see it? Maybe it's just me. So what are we gonna do with you? Uh, we can spay them. I, I kind of want to try that at some point. A tum tum ticklage readjustment surgery. Okay, you know what? Why don't we actually fix them? We'll spay somebody who needs to have just a checkup, right? Because then we're not gonna potentially kill them. Um. Okay, no, 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 that's not good. Are we being hacked? That, that's 
That's not what you want to see happen. You don't want steam coming out of the box Enjoy filled with pads. <laughs> okay, there we go. Readjusting tum tums. Yeah, there we go. In reality, it's just a shower, but uh, she'll pay a lot more this way. How much are you giving me right now? Two hundred and fifty dollars for spraying down your cat. God, I'm robbing these people blind. Uh, ma'am, we're, we're actually closing right now. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Sorry, thank you. Okay, we made some profit. We're not really getting up in the reviews quite yet. 31 patients isn't too bad, but I can't really stay open for longer than 10 to 12 hours or they get really upset. Tommy could work around the clock. In fact, he hasn't gone home in a few days, but we're making progress. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. And I'm still really enjoying the vet clinic, even though it is a little bit slow to make progress. I'm happy that we actually managed to got to do surgeries today, but you guys are gonna have to let me know if there's anything else that I'm missing. I'm curious if, if Tommy keeps going, if we do another episode of Vet Clinic and he gets up to level 10, are we gonna have a lot of really interesting new diseases coming in and different stuff if we reach five star? I have no idea if it's worth doing more on or not or if you guys are interested in it, so be sure to let me know. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.